Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette. And in this vlog, I show you guys my weight loss journey. I show you the ups and downs, the ins and outs, the positives and the negatives of what it's like for me on my personal weight loss journey. But before we get into this weekly vlog, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all things that I am doing. And comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And without any further ado, let's get into this weekly vlog. So I already had my water this morning. It is currently 8.42, woken up pretty late. Um, a goal of mine going forward is to try to drink water immediately when I get up. So try to drink at least half a bottle of water when I wake up in the morning because the past week I was not drinking a lot of water. I was really stressed with lots of projects last week. Everything ended yesterday evening, which was really, really great. Um... But yeah, I was just, I was just very, very stressed and was not drinking water. I even forgot to take my vitamins yesterday. I took my supplement, my collagen supplement, but I did not take my vitamins, unfortunately. And I remembered too late to take them. And yeah, that was unfortunate, but it happens. Um, last week was very, very stressful because I had projects and a lot of like emergency emails and stuff like that, that I had to take care of. So yeah. Also an update. I had sushi yesterday with some chocolate covered strawberries and I was gifted some Girl Scout cookies. So I'm going to put those in the freezer because honestly it can only have three at a time or else it is so sickly sweet. I got some Samoas and some Thin Mints, so I'm very thankful and grateful for my um, Valentine's Day gift. That was really, really sweet. And yeah, that's what I had yesterday along with working. All right, I'm not going to lie to you. Didn't work out. <laughs> Obviously, you guys can see that, but it's 11 o'clock and I have not worked out. And I'm hungry, so I'm going to make myself some breakfast and a latte and get my day started because I'm just not in the mood to work out. I stayed in bed, I relaxed, I rested, and honestly, I don't think it would be smart for me to try to work out and it be 11 o'clock and I have not eaten anything, so... I'm going to show you guys my breakfast and we're going to get on with this day. So I'm having my acid kicking mineralized powder in my water since I had ketchup with those fries. Honestly, for the second, like going for seconds for the fries, I should have done half of what I got in the seconds because I am too full like it hurts so I regret the second portions amount should have got a smaller amount but it is what it is I ate all of it I was feeling full towards the end and I was just like ugh but yeah I didn't want to like put it back in the freezer I was like I'm just gonna eat it it was good it was good but tomorrow I work out.
have it on my way up Now it's really far down I don't think I'll feel it When I hit the ground In October it feels like summertime I keep falling for you like every night Been communicating through satellites, yeah It's black and white I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow just like day by day Like day by day I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow just like day by day Like day by day dressed and ready for work I made my matcha latte my favorite mug and I forgot that I had kefir goat kefir so I need to use that up before it goes bad so I made myself a little parfait there's blueberries strawberries and some granola on top with a little bit of honey drizzled so but it's mainly a lot of fruits at the bottom with some kefir so I can continue having that but yeah that is my morning I also the arm workout that I did the upper body workout uh, excuse me was really really great like I felt very strong doing it and I felt very good doing it as well so there's that going to eat the last of my ice cream and hop into a meeting here in a second but yeah I'm finishing off my ice cream because why not I might have some fries as well because I'm just I want to eat my feelings <laughs> there's nothing wrong I just like feel sad yeah Anyways, I know I'm smiling as I say that, but like truly I do feel sad, but, and I eat my feelings that way, but yeah. I'm gonna have this and then I'll show you guys what I eat later. Ryan Little. <laughs> 
workout this morning I definitely could have gone harder 
especially like for my butt exercises because that's where I'm weak. I'm so weak with my butt exercises. Like my butt is not strong. My gluteus maximus and, and like my glutes are just not strong. Those are the one thing along with my abs that, well, my abs, I used to hate working out because my core was just never strong. But now my core is getting a lot stronger because I've been very consistent with that. And I just have to be more consistent with my glute exercises, my butt exercises, because I just, it hurts every single time, no matter what I do. It could be like the smallest movement, but because I just don't focus on it, like I'm doing squats and I do lunges and yeah, that works out your butt and stuff. But when you just focus on your glutes, it's a lot for your girl. And, um, I definitely don't want a flabby butt. I want like a firm, muscular butt. So I don't want a ton of fat on there, which it is a lot of fat, but there's also some muscle there. I don't know how much for ratios because I, I don't have those measuring tools. But yeah, I definitely just want everything to be like firmer. You know, I want my body to be firm. I want it to be tight. I want it to be right. So anyways i will check in with you guys for what i eat next and yeah So watch my YouTube video on where I talk about like when people doubt you. I finished the project and I got recognized by the people person who doubted me that I could not do it. And granted, I still wasn't able to do the project by myself but that's okay. Help is always appreciated, especially with last week, which is how insane it was. Like, I definitely do appreciate the fact that I got to work on the project still with someone else to help ease the burden of doing the entire project by myself. So that was really great. But the fact that I got recognized for my efforts and was appreciated that way and was just amazing. So I just kind of wanted to like include that in here because I know I talked about like, you know, proving like pe not really proving people wrong, but just proving to yourself that you can do something even when people doubt you and your capabilities that you can rise to the occasion and do it. And sometimes that is also needed for you to just believe in yourself and push yourself forward. And I definitely did that where I didn't believe in myself and it kind of brings me back to like, early like midsummer and like june july august area like i was struggling severely with my mental health because of this pandemic and i'm sure so many people can relate as well and understand but my mental health was just struggling like i had panic attacks i was just like i had panic attacks like it wasn't even a weekly occurrence. It was to the point where it was happening almost daily, like at least every other day, every night that I would go to sleep, I had panic attacks. It was absolutely horrific and traumatizing um, in a lot of ways, not only for myself, but for the people who care a lot about me and who were around to help me during that time. Like it was awful. And it obviously affected my work. Like I, couldn't focus that well um, while working. Like I would be looking at my screen and it was like I was a zombie, like just not a lot was happening. And, and I don't know if that like, maybe it didn't come across on the vlogs that I did during that time, but like it obviously showed up in other ways and me gaining like 30 pounds last year. Um, my depression just affected me in so many ways and not really, like I was depressed in the, in like for sure in the summer, but 
my anxiety was just insane like my depression usually sparks off because of my anxiety it like it goes hand in hand and maybe i did talk about it um because i'm remembering kind of saying the same things like my anxiety and depression they're not things that are completely separate and i will say i am not clinically diagnosed with depression but i do have a lot of anxiety i did have a lot of anxiety and especially last year it was just horrible and i just really had to like find activities do activities that really helped me not be stuck in my state of anxiousness because it caused me to have so many panic attacks like it was debilitating it was like I couldn't do anything and it affected my work and I got challenged at work to do better and I rose to the occasion and I worked hard and I proved myself and I still prove myself in the work that I do so sometimes like the doubt is not even something that comes from other people it could be things that come from yourself and you have to prove to yourself that you are capable so hopefully this is an encouragement or just even a thing of i as well deal with hard and difficult things in my life and sometimes it can just be a lot to handle and to process and to deal with and all that stuff so I just want to say like a word of encouragement that like you got this even if something that you're going through is really really difficult or really really hard or just unbearable to go through you are capable you are more than capable to overcome whatever that you're going through and you will come out on the other side um and you'll have learned so much about yourself and you will grow like I truly believe there's no such things as mistakes i think it is all learning opportunities and i mean like for yourself and the things that go on in your life um like you know if you mess up or if you make a mistake in terms of things that you do i like when it comes to work and you know and stuff like that like not everyone's perfect not everyone is it starts off at an elite level of doing something everyone has so many learning opportunities to be able to grow and become the best version of themselves so i hope that makes sense um and is an encouragement to you because that is um something that i live by every day is that you know it's not a mistake it's not me messing up it is a learning opportunity because i have the ability to grow from this and not do that again because there's always a way to do something different and make it more efficient for yourself so just wanted to share that little tidbit we are being a little bit chatty this week in the vlog so um hopefully that's okay but yeah i i've had like i don't know it's it's not that this week has been awful or anything because last week i was just very exhausted i had projects and a lot of emergencies happen um with work and i got through it and i got it done but this week i think i'm just feeling like the effects of last week like last week i was definitely tired for sure but this week i just feel not like depressed but or like super sad just kind of off and maybe it has to do with like sad um because of the weather right now and the fact that it's like very gray skies and stuff like that but although i do enjoy this weather because it's like cozy weather but in terms of like my mental health it definitely can take a toll for sure so yeah good morning beautiful beautiful people going to make breakfast now I had an early, early meeting, so breakfast is a, it's a little late because it's uh, 9.42 right now. But yeah, I had an early meeting and did not work out because it snowed last night. And also I was staying up late trying to export a video that was just not wanting to export because I didn't have enough room on my computer. 
I figured that all out, got it exported finally, and yeah, so there's a new video live on my channel, um, and yeah, we get tested again, we make, well, my grandma makes really good breads, both like just regular bread and sweet bread, she makes this applesauce bread, it's so good, or it's apple cinnamon butter, I don't remember it's apple something but it's really really good and she makes that bread and I had several of it <laughs> and I talk about the acid kicking minerals in that and how I'm taking them although this week I have not taken it because I just keep forgetting at night but maybe I just need to take it earlier in the day <sighs> anyway child I am going to actually have a glass of celery juice because I haven't had celery juice and I have a brand new bottle. You know, I think I'm gonna leave my celery juice for the weekends. Now I'm gonna have my celery juice now. <laughs> so I'll show you guys what I'm having throughout the day in terms of food. And yeah, I'll check in with you guys soon. So I have my kettle warming up so I can put hot water in my hot water bottle. But essentially, I'm gonna finish up the rest of these Thin Mints. There's about five more cookies in here in this row. I really want ice cream, but I don't wanna go outside and drive to Baskin Robbins to get the ice cream that I really want because it's cold. And I, I don't want to go through that venture so I'm just gonna have more of this and that will hopefully satisfy the ice cream urges right now because I really I just don't want to go outside and I'm gonna continue drinking some water but yeah that is all for today I don't think if I eat anything else I'll show you if not I won't so I'll check in with you guys later.
Good morning. So today's workout was really good. I felt really strong about the leg and arm workouts, basically full body that I did. And yeah, I feel really strong. My legs feel strong. My arms feel strong. Um, my core feels strong as well. I will get started and show you guys what I'm eating for the rest of this day. And I will check in with you shortly. It is Saturday, <laughs> the last day, and this morning I am 225.5. So I'm going to eat my breakfast and I will show you guys that in a minute. I'm very excited because today I get to eat oxtail. There's this place called Cuba Bakery and Cafe in Aurora and they make oxtail every Saturday but they're only open like for limited hours on Saturday. And also with the oxtail, when they run out, they run out. So the last time I had it was last year. I think it was last summer with my friend Sang. And we're doing that again today. We're getting it um, together. We're getting 
oxtail because they're only open like certain hours so i need this oxtail in my life i've been thinking about it i've been craving it for a while and it's time to satisfy the craving so i'm very very excited to have oxtail and to catch up with saying i haven't seen her in a minute so yeah that is uh some of my exciting news for the day i really want mcdonald's fries i've been craving it for a while now and the baskin robbins dairy free cookie dough ice cream i've been craving that for a couple days and i really want it so we'll see i am driving like finally gonna drive today um and get out the house because i'm meeting a friend so i have no choice but to uh go and do things um i also have some errands to to run as well before some places close because some of them are only open for like the afternoon so i really have like quite a bit of errands to do this afternoon but i'm going to start my morning slow because it's saturday and I am having my matcha latte and my little parfait thing. I ran out of peanut butter. <laughs> and I also ran out of granola. I need to get some groceries as well today. So I'll show you guys my food um, throughout the day. And yeah, I'll just check in with you shortly. Seriously, where's my juice? Where did I put my juice? Oh, oh it's in my purse, thank God. Oh, bless, 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 bless. All right, so I just got back from errands and all the things, and I'm gonna show you what I got at the grocery store. Um, also, with the oxtail and the rice and the plantain, I didn't eat it all. And I also bought empanadas. I did not eat any of the empanadas. I still have quite a bit left in here, so I'm actually just gonna put that in the fridge because, um, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't need to stay out that long, <laughs> and I don't want it to go bad. So, in the fridge we go. Okay, that was forceful, but okay, we're here. We're here. Let me turn on this light because it's better. Y'all can you see me better. Hey girl. Anyways, so I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I got. Some things are double and I will explain why they are double minus the milk because it is the quantity of milk that you get for milk for with milk is not a lot, so I have to buy several. But anyways, let me show you my food shop haul, grocery haul, whatever. I got some avocados and pepper because I needed black pepper and some sea salt because I was running out of sea salt. I topped up on some honey and some crunchy peanut butter unsalted. I am planning on baking this weekend so I got some butter to bake with and I also got more apple cider vinegar. I got kosher salt as well because I heard that if you just use sea salt it's not going to give the correct reaction when you bake. So I wanted to get salt specifically for when I bake, which is this. Two milks, the oat milk one, because I need that for my lattes. And I got this Belly Reset Health Aid Plus. I'm probably gonna have that right now. I got more of the little bars of ice cream. I think it's just a really perfect amount to have in like one bar, so I really liked that. And I topped up on some more oatmeal cookie dough evolved chocolate, which is my favorite. And I got two things of blueberries because I didn't see any strawberries, so I just went with blue, uh, not blueberries, blackberries um, to go with my blueberries because there was no strawberries when I went into Sprouts. Or, I mean, there was, but it was like organic and it was massive and I didn't, I didn't want to pay all that money for strawberries. And I got two things of baking soda. Anyways, I am going to go and put away my food so that my ice cream doesn't melt. And I will check in with you guys when I next 
eat something. I might have that kombucha, but I'll show it if I have it. So check with you guys later. So I'm heading home right now, but I forgot to show that I had a green tea and I also had two Thin Mints when I was at Cubs and that was all that I had. But I'm going to end the vlog here as I am going home. Um, if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching and sticking with me to the end. I really, truly do appreciate it a lot. If you haven't already, please do give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all things that I am doing. And comment down below. Say hi, I say hi back, girl. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.